Mm. So, what do you think? Too sweet? Not sweet enough? This one may be my favorite. Really? Because I wasn't sure if I should bring it out today, but I, I really want to showcase something new. Relax. You are going to be great. Well, if not, it's back to baking in my kitchen again. Thank you again for setting up this meeting with the banker. I love my little cafe, but it's not going to make it if we can't expand, especially with everything starting to break. Well, my cousin said, as far as investment bankers go, he's a real rising star. She also said he's very handsome and single. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Emma, but I think I'll just focus on saving my business for now, if that's okay. Oh, shoot! I gotta go. Thank you. <laughs> Delicious. sound good. It's choking out a lot of steam. Is it still making good coffee? For now. Let's just focus on that today, okay? Well, what about the oven? Well, what about it? Last night's batch cooked quicker than usual. What if things start to burn? Okay, I know the cafe needs an overhaul, and hopefully today's meeting will get us one step closer to that, but today, let's just focus on quality. That's what we're selling. The rest is just logistics. What are these? Our new sugar cookie cake with brown butter, rosemary, and pine nut frosting. You made these last night? Mm-hmm. Mm. How do you do it? Do what? Make me feel better. Oh, it's not me, it's the cupcake. Well, and the fresh rosemary. <sighs> All right. Now, let's make a deal. So originally this was one space, so we won't lose any character by opening it up. We're just gonna gain more seating and catering and just everything. Well, from what you told me on the phone, this is exactly what I pictured. Small town, charming. It's a very different feel from Chicago. Well, we really appreciate you coming all the way out here. It's only an hour away. And I am glad I came in person. The space is really unique. Yeah, I, I fell in love with all these details, and I, I wanted to create cupcakes that would capture that same feeling. And I grew up around here, so I know all the shop owners, which is always really nice. Is your family still here? No, no, actually, they moved to Florida a few years ago, but I, I never really wanted to live anywhere else. Hmm. You know, actually, this is, um, this is the old creamery where my grandparents had their first date. And since my grandmother taught me everything she knows about baking, it just, well, it seemed perfect. I think we can use that. Use it? How? Well, if someone wants to invest in your cafe, they're going to want to know that you've been doing this for a long time. That's not just some passing phase, and you're really invested in being here. Well, I guess I'm lucky in that respect. I've known what I wanted to do since forever. <laughs> now I just got to keep going. Oh, well, gourmet and made to order cupcakes this good? I don't think you'll have a problem. Well, we will if the oven keeps quitting on us, but the space is just too limited to get ahead or even just repair. So why not a simple business loan? Because I've already taken out too many loans to get this far. I know that, but the investors don't have to. You start with passion, build in potential. Passion, she can do. <laughs> and a cute grandma story never hurt. Okay. So, so where do we go from here? I'm gonna run some numbers, contact a few people, and see if anybody's interested. How's that sound? That sounds perfect. Great. Oh, wait, um, don't forget your samples. One of every flavor. How could I? I don't want to jinx it, but I think that went really well, don't you? What? Oh, nothing. From a business perspective. Mm-hmm. Okay, you know what? You and your whole passion come and get back to work. <laughs> you really want it snowing at our wedding? Oh, just 
spring is really soon, and summer's my busy season, so. Mm, but snow is just, it's not what I imagined. I know. Hi, sorry I'm late. I had to get the oven looked at again. Wow. Well, don't worry, you're not even two minutes late, and I still haven't decided if I'm having a salad or a burger. Oh, no. Don't tell me you're doing the no-carb diet now that you're engaged. Well, considering we haven't set a date yet, no. And even when we do, no. Okay. It's just, I don't, I don't want to rush this. It, let me rephrase that. Just, I don't want to rush the perfect day. How's that? Better. I still can't believe the girl I played bride with in fifth grade is getting married. <laughs> Do you remember our veils? <gasps> yes. Excuse me, uh, I'm gonna take this work calls. The one we uh, the one we made out of dish towels. Yeah. <laughs> those were very chic. <laughs> Maybe I should think about bringing those back. Maybe it's a good thing you became an interior designer and not a fashion designer. Hey. I bet I could make an entire wedding dress out of terry cloth. Don't freak me out. Anything bridal freaks you out. That's not true. I've pictured my wedding day before. Once. Like a million years ago. More like ten years ago, and it's not my fault it fell apart. Okay, I know you don't like me saying this, but you need to get out there. You don't want to be my sad single friend when I'm married with, like, six kids. I have been out there before. Plenty. Okay, maybe not plenty, but... You know, you can't keep comparing everyone to Nate. What? This has nothing to do with Nate. I haven't seen or spoken to him in years. You know that. Even if I did, I'd still be fine. Then why aren't you dating? Because I've been busy with the one relationship I can control. Oh, please do not tell me that you were talking about the cafe. What? You do realize how pathetic that sounds. Okay, pathetic may be a tad harsh. And yes, I do. That's why I'm gonna order us some burgers. Good milk. Good milk. Well, I would be lying if I said we weren't a little surprised to hear you wanted to bring your program to Indian Lake. But we are very happy to have you. I couldn't leave my hometown off the rotation, even if my family doesn't live here anymore. Well, Dr. Langston speaks very highly of you. He says you're one of his best new cardiologists. Hopefully that means he'll consider me for his new research program if the grant goes through. I'm sure he will. I don't know. There's a ton of interest, but it's all about standing out, right? Just like college, you have to pack on the extracurricular to get noticed. So you developed a crash course? A six-week course. In clinical communication after cardiac surgery. Good bedside manner is everything, especially to the people you're treating. But sometimes when you're pushing for advancement, that can get lost. Well, I can see why he speaks so highly of you. Oh, Nate, this is Charlie Simpson, one of our best physician's assistants. Aren't I the only one? <laughs> Still the best. Charlie, this is Dr. Barzani. Dr. Barzani, it's a pleasure to meet you. Likewise. Have a seat, Charlie. Now, Charlie here is going to give you a quick tour of the hospital, set you up with corporate housing, show you to your office, the lecture hall. More importantly, our newly renovated cafeteria. <laughs> the kitchen is huge. That's great. I know that you grew up here, but we could also show you around town if you'd like. That's uh, been a long time. Probably too long, so that would be great. Perfect. Again, Nate. Very glad you're here. Now, if you'll excuse me. I'm not so sure everyone will be so happy. Sorry, what? Oh, nothing. Ready for your tour? Yeah. I'm not usually a cake person, but your maple buttermilk with French toast flakes may have just changed my mind. <laughs> and location as inspiration. Well, I just feel it's all part of the overall feeling, and that comes out in the quality of what you bake. Hmm. Well, it definitely sets you apart. And your vision for growth is clear here, but 
Well, I'm sure Alex has told you that my time is extremely limited. At this stage of my career, I'm only taking on projects that I feel very passionate about. I... I want to do things that make people feel good out in the world and add a bright spot to their communities. So I would need to see that same passion from you. This is all I ever wanted to do. And I've poured everything I have into it. And I don't plan on stopping. Hmm. I can see that. Which is why I'm willing to come and take a look at your space. Really? This is pretty feel-good. How is Monday, week after next, say 9 a.m.? Perfect. So is this. <laughs> I can't believe the investor behind Equator's coming to Indian Lake. She's, she's amazing. I can say the same thing about you. She's clearly impressed. Well, I don't want to get too excited. Well, she still has to look at the space. Consider franchise possibilities. W what if I just want to expand what I already have? You know, keep it super personal. No, just focus on getting the deal done first. We'll work out specifics later. Okay. Well, anything else? Yeah, well, you might want to work out some hard numbers for the expansion and remodel. She's going to want to look at your assets. So your building, your recipes, your logo, they're all great. A website would really help. Mm. Other than that, I am pretty much out of it. Oh. Wow, so, so that's it? More or less, yeah. Actually, there is one more question. You want more cupcakes, don't you? Yes. <laughs> also, I was wondering what you were doing Friday. There's an art opening in the city. Wait, you said no to him? I get that you want to focus on work right now, but I, I can't believe that you said no. This is next level. I can't even get a date. And I you... just didn't want to mix business with pleasure. I thought you said he was pretty much out of it. He is. But look, it's just a little art opening. I'm sure he just needed a date. Oh, yeah, you're right. He looks like the kind of guy who'd have a very hard time finding one. That's probably it. Okay, wait a minute. Why are we talking more about Alex rather than the fact that we are this close to landing an investor? You're right. It is very exciting. Very. Thank you. Can we go back to talking about your ideas for the remodel? Fine. I'll get us some coffee. Thank you. But you are going to run out of excuses sooner or later. And uh oh, what was that? Oh, right, you're gonna have to date. She's right. <laughs> you're impossible. Hey, how are you? Good. Hey, so what happens if this grant goes through? For me. Well, fingers crossed, Langston finds a spot for me on his research team. Hey, full time researcher. Yeah, that's kind of the dream. But for now, you're stuck with me. <laughs> yeah. Although, I don't think there's much else new to show you, man. At least, not in the nine months I've been back. Oh, yeah, I haven't tried this yet, but I hear they're tasting. She really did it. So you two are going to go see venues? I'm going to look at venues. Luke is going to drop me off on his way back to work. Right, Luke? Well, trust me, I'd rather go with you. Mm-hmm. This new project sounds pretty intense. Construction is stressful. You always say that. Right. I just wish he'd slow down long enough to set a date. You will. Unless... He's got cold feet. Oh, please. He adores you. You know that. Besides, he doesn't look like he has cold feet. Trust me. I know. Then why does he seem perfectly content staying in the engaged face? Because it's a really nice face to be in. Maybe you should just enjoy it. You sound like my mom. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're right. I'm just, you know... Mm. You ready? Yes, I am. Well, I hope you know your hazelnut cappuccino cupcakes are what's keeping me going. My new client is a bit of a nightmare. Always here to help. See, I told you, work stress. I'll send pictures. You better. Hey, Chloe. Mm. I think we need to get some more honey lavender. Um, oh, and we only have two hazelnuts left. Okay. <laughs> I knew you'd be... What are you doing here, Nate? So, you, uh, you're back in our little town. For work? Just for six weeks. 
I'm touring different hospitals with her lecture series. So you guys do know each other? We dated for seven years. But four of those were long distance. That's still a long time. A very long time ago. Can we help you with anything? Coffee, cupcake? Chloe? Yeah. Um, right, yes, yeah, that. But it's me helping you. Um, so we have a, a sugar cookie cupcake with brown butter. Oh, I can't say no to that. Great. Uh, I'm Charlie, by the way. I don't think we've ever met. I guess not. I'll get those cupcakes. Well, I'm not gonna lie to you. This is a uh, this is a little weird. You just popping in like this. Well, I would have called, but you told me not to. Remember? Could have sent a pigeon. <laughs> Look, I'm not proud of how we ended things, how I handled it. We were young. I just things were just changing so fast. I got overwhelmed. You got cold feet. Okay. But you were the one who ended it officially. I just said what you wouldn't. I'm sorry. I have to get back to work. I just want to hear how you are. You know, how things have been. For ten years? I can't believe this is your place. I mean, I can because you always knew it would be someday. It's just... It's pretty amazing. Your grandma would be really proud. Well, thank you. At least you got to see it. I guess that's something. What do you mean? Well, we have an interested investor. But if that doesn't pan out, we might not be open for long. I'm sorry, I didn't realize. Of course not. I gotta get back to work. Are we going? Not yet. Oh, am I helping you now? I'd like to order four dozen cupcakes, please. For right now. If I'm not too late. Okay. It's, uh, it's Maddie. Hey, um, I was wondering, do you, do you still need a date for Friday night? You don't think that's too much? It's an art opening in the city. Give us a tour. You look perfect. Thank you. It's just a friendly night out anyway. Plus, he lives in Chicago. Let's not doom it before you even get there. <laughs> no, I won't. I'm excited. And you must be, too, for the community fundraiser. I'm excited for the cause. Not sure about all the work. Well, I upped your order to include more of the sugar cookie cakes. I hope that's okay. Are you sure you still want to donate? I know it's not the best time money-wise. Oh, please. You've had to taste every new cupcake flavor I've had since I was, what, 13? It's the least I can do. Besides, there's too much history in that community hall for it to be torn down. Let's hope everyone feels the same. Speaking of history, I heard that Nate Barzoni's back in town. It's okay to feel uneasy about it. I'm fine. I know, but 
That doesn't change the fact that no one ever forgets their first love. Just remember, it doesn't mean you're not over them, despite what people say. It just means they'll always be a part of you. Hmm. Now, let's get you to the city to have some fun. I'm not entirely sure I know what that is, but it's impressive. I think I see a face. I don't think that's a face. Well, whatever it is, it's definitely something functional. <laughs> see, this is why you need to come to the city more. Why? So I can help you figure out what paintings mean? Yes, and we can go to more of these together. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> so, you really never wanted to move to the city? Mm -mm. I like to visit, but... I really love the quiet, the community I have. I find that really sweet. And you've always known what you wanted? It took me most of my twenties to figure that out. I think of all the time you saved. Yeah, maybe. But some things worked out better than others. So you, you never had a vision of, of this, this is what I want to be? You mean when I grow up? Yeah. No, actually, that's not true. I wanted to be a cashier at a grocery store. <laughs> really? Yeah, I thought you got to take home the money every single night from the drawer. <laughs> that's, that's very entrepreneurial of you. You gotta keep up with this lifestyle somehow. Stay there. Well, I definitely know what that is. Just a little something to say thank you. For what? Changing your mind. I'm really glad this worked out. Me too. Good morning. Hi. Yeah, I hear that, and I choose to ignore it. As long as the coffee still tastes good. So far? Great. Oh, looks like someone had a good night. The art was odd, but kind of amazing. And your date? He's very nice. And? And I'm just taking it slow. So you're gonna see him again? Well, we, we really didn't set up a date, but, uh, well, yeah, I think so. Huh. Good. Well, I guess it is safe to give you this. And what's this? Dr. Barzoni. I'm assuming that's Nate. He ordered six dozen cupcakes. Okay. But he wants them delivered. Apparently there's some kind of reception after his first lecture. That's fine. He wants you to bring them. Why do I have to? Can't you? Apparently not. But he promised it would be good for business. In our quest to find the most minimally invasive cardiac surgeries, we've unfortunately buried our heads in the sand. That's why when we step out from behind the computer screens, we need to remember to operate from the heart. Be human, personal, compassionate. Technology can't provide that for us. So that's our job. That's where we start. Now, since this is our first lecture and you've willingly signed up to listen to me drone on for another five, I want to reward you all with some local treats from Cupcakes and Coffee Cafe. Maddie Strong, the very talented owner and baker, has been kind enough to bring them in herself. Enjoy. Hi. Hi. Here you go. Thanks. Yeah. Hey. Hey, how are you? Here you go. Thanks for coming. You didn't leave me much choice. I think you know I would have placed the order either way. <laughs> well, even though I just had to grab napkins, the kitchen here is fantastic. The food is incredible. My wife has been telling me about your cupcakes for ages. They're as good as she said. Thank you. It's always a good idea to listen to the wife. Maddie. Yeah. Hi. Okay, these are amazing. I was just wondering, do you do parties? Of course. It's my daughter's sweet 16, and I think she'd be quite happy with just a room full of desserts. 
Should I order online or? Well, I'm a bit old fashioned, so for now you can just call me. We can go over the options. Great. Dr. Pearson, physiotherapy. What? You're gonna make me the hit of the hospital. Well, I don't know about that, but at this rate, I'm running out of cards. <laughs> you don't have a website? Don't remind me. I know it's a good thing for investors to see, but do you remember how hard it was for me to give up my flip phone? Uh, technology is not really your strong suit. And I know you don't like change. Well, no, it's not that. It's just that I haven't really had time to think about it. And now I have all this budget stuff that I have to firm up. And honestly, I don't know where to start. And I can't really justify hiring someone right now, so... Why don't you hire me? For free. I'm serious. You're a doctor. Who took a lot of tech classes in undergrad. I know what you're trying to do, and I appreciate that. Oh, yeah? What's that? Hey, Maddie, these are great. Thank you. See ya. You're trying to make up for what happened. Maybe even be friends. I'm sorry, Nate. I just can't do that. Well, at least let me help with this then. It's something I can do, want to do. And we can keep conversations strictly business. Well, I'm sure you're pretty busy with work. Actually, I'm not. Really? You? You're always busy. Aside from my weekly lectures, my schedule is more free now than it has been in years. So how about tomorrow night? Say six o'clock. Pick you up. They still have the bambino. I can't believe you still like french fries on your pizza. Well, I don't know. Maybe my taste has matured. Thank you. Mm. Oh. Still amazing. <laughs> and you're a cardiologist. Who's currently off duty. <laughs> okay, so um, what else do we need? Mm, okay. So how many flavors do you have? I mean, you clearly took off my favorite, the chocolate velvet. Right. Strictly business. Fourteen. Signatures. But, uh, we can do made to order. Oh, so if I wanted a rose petal cupcake, you could do it? No. No? I mean, I could, but that sounds terrible. What? No, come on. You put the rose petals on top, make them into a little ornate flower. <sighs> okay, you did always have a, a knack for the details. Yeah, my vision, your precision. Remember? That was your catchphrase, not mine. You still remember it. Catchy. And you're still a nut. You know that? You may be a fancy doctor, but you're still a nut. Anything to make you laugh. Oh, um, sorry. I, I, I really need to get this. Of course. Excuse me. Hello. Hi. Yeah, that was, that was definitely fun. And bizarre, yeah. Oh, we're just working on the proposal and, and the website. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay, bye. Oh, I'm sorry about that. It was just a quick... No, no. No worries at all. Um, okay, so, uh, where were we? Right. The website. Mm -hmm. 
Thank you. You're welcome. So I was thinking, if it's okay with you, I'll come by the cafe and I'll take some pictures. They teach you photography in undergrad as well? <laughs> no. No, my iPhone did that. <laughs> so I work on the descriptions we talked about. Uh, I'll come by, I'll take some pictures, and then we'll start building a website. Okay. You really think we can have this done by my meeting? I know it's quick, but... I'm going to try my hardest. Okay. Thank you. I'm excited. You've come a long way since the flip phone. <laughs> I have. <laughs> yeah, things have been really stressful with all of this, so thank you for making it fun. You were always really good at doing that. Hopefully I still am. <laughs> really is nice to see you, Maddie. It's nice to see you too. Really? Well, maybe we should keep this party going then. Go for a hike, just like old times. Don't push it, Barzoni. Okay, I'm going. I'm leaving very businesslike. <laughs> I should let you go. Well, thanks again. I really think it's gonna be great. Me too. Okay, so this was definitely not here when I was growing up. It's the first place I came to and I moved back. It's the easiest thing to do alone. Especially when I realized most people I knew moved away. So how's it feel being back? It feels okay, mostly. It's just uh, a little complicated. Is it because of Maddie? Sorry. It's okay. I'm the one that messed up. We had our whole lives mapped out, but... I guess work took over. It still feels like there's something there, man. <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't think you get another shot at something that great. Let me get us some water. Sure. For the interior, that's as low as I can go. And I'll have Luke send you his quote. But knocking walls down is fairly simple. Great. Thank you. I just need to make sure I keep everything as tight as possible. So, do you feel better now? Much. You? About what? Luke? Uh, well, he said he's gonna talk to the country club this week, so... you may be one step closer to that poofy lavender dress. Oh. Well, it's too bad I don't have it for tonight. I still don't know what I'm gonna wear. Big work party. Hate to say it, but it sounds kind of official. It's not official. Alex is just... Hard up for a date. Again. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Plus, I have to leave early, so it's gonna be a short night. What? Why, why would you do that? Leave early? Oh, because I still have to bake six dozen cupcakes. For, for tomorrow, for Emma's fundraising? Oh. You remember. And now I have to finish the proposal now that I have all these numbers. Good. For a second, I thought it might have something to do with Nate. What? Why? Why, why would I say I have anything to do with Nate? I don't know. You've been spending a lot of time with him lately. Yes, on the website. That's it. Plus, it's almost over, so... Okay, stop. You know, just gather all your swatches. I'm starving. Let's go to lunch. So it's New Year's Eve. The ball's about to drop, and he's still trying to close one last deal. <laughs> You're a hard worker. Yeah. Mm, I just think he likes his year-end above everyone else. Oh, I got the deal signed, didn't I? <laughs> Excuse me. You okay? You seem a little quiet. Me? Oh, sorry. You guys were just talking about deals, and all that's running through my mind is, am I even ready for Monday? Are my descriptions good enough for the website? And then there's the whole franchise thing. I still don't know what to do. You're going to be great. All you have to remember is it's all about selling yourself. You talk a big game, and there's no way they can say no. What if I'm not good at that? That's all part of the game. What's that saying? Fake it until you make it. Well, again, not really my style, but... Um... I'll try.
What are you doing? That's a little something I like to call dancing. It's your game. Our goal is to restore what's been damaged and breathe new life into this beautiful old community hall. So, dig deep and make Indian Lake proud. Thank you all for coming. Okay, I think that's the last sketch. Do you need anything else? No, I think I'm good. Okay, then uh, I should get back to work. Oh, actually, did you call Tim at the country club? Oh, right, that, no, but I will, I will call right now. Luke, they only have a few free dates left for weddings this year, and he's your connection. I'm sorry. I will call. Yeah, I promise. It just slipped my mind. Every time I try to make plans. You know, forget it. This isn't even place in. You need to go to work. So. Okay. Love you. I'll call right now. Okay. <laughs> okay. So does anybody want to see the plans for the community hall? I would. Nate Barzoni. I was wondering when I was going to run into you. It's good to see you, Sarah. Is it? Because if I were you, I'd be the last person I'd want to see. That's fair. No, don't worry. Do you really want to see those plans? Yeah, I do. <laughs> was your night? It was nice. Not exhausting, but nice. I don't know how he does it. Everything is always so fancy. Well, he is a money guy. Well, I'm more of a pizza and a movie on the couch kind of girl. And sweats. Well, maybe you could be both. Oh, no. What? What's wrong? Okay. What? What's going on? Why are you hiding? I'm, I'm not hiding. I... I'm just a total cliche. What? What are you talking about? Do you know him? Know him? No, but did I have a huge embarrassing crush on him in high school? Yes. I was the awkward nerd. He was captain of the football team. See what I'm saying? Total cliche. That is so cute. Cute? Yeah. He didn't even know I existed. Wow. He does now. Okay. I'm going to go pick up that box of spiced yam, and I'm going to be right back. Okay? Okay. That was incredibly awkward. <laughs> I'd actually say you're a real hit. Your cupcakes are almost gone. He's still a good guy. Yeah, unfortunately. He's been a huge help with the website and um, no one tells you how to handle this. After all these years, there's no rule book. You know, I've spent a lot of time lately talking to people about the old community hall. People with very strong opinions about how it should be restored. But the way I see it, you just need to acknowledge what it was and enjoy it for what it is now. There is no rule. You just have to do what feels right. Thank you. Okay. We have a dozen cupcakes left. We can do this. Let's do it. Cupcakes? Yeah. yeah. say I'm even impressing myself <laughs> well we've got three more to go so knock yourself out yeah you know what's missing don't you dare say chocolate velvet no no wasn't gonna say it wasn't even thinking it at all oh I can't believe it's all happening tomorrow I feel sick to my stomach and I don't even know what to say about this whole franchise thing it's, it's a lot of pressure just be true to yourself and know that you're going to have a killer website to show. Maybe not until 2 a.m., but still. Oh, I still can't believe that these are from your phone. They're beautiful. Just wait until I'm done editing them. Wait, what are you doing? <laughs> no, stop. See? Beautiful. Nate. Okay, I know, I know. Back to work.
touch the whole world three times over Through every closed and open door I didn't even know what I was looking for That was the moment when I knew I found That was way too easy to sneak up on you. Good morning. Morning. How long have you been here? Do you really want to know? Wow. I thought I was early. It smells amazing in here. Well, I decided to make a dozen maple buttermilk. That's her favorite, and she's getting plenty of it. And then three dozen of everything else. Have you slept at all? Oh, no. I could sleep tomorrow. Today, Christine Benoit is coming to the cafe, and everything needs to be perfect. I don't look tired, do I? You look great. So what can I do for you? Oh, yes. Um, can you go check on the cupcakes? I'm just looking over the business plan one more time. I'm on it. Oh, no. What? What's wrong? Uh, it's the cupcakes. They're a little burnt. What? No, not burnt. Crispy. Crispy. Just crispy. They can't be crispy. They're cupcakes. I know. I'm sorry. I don't know what to say. Oh, no, no, no. I'm sorry. It's, it's, oh, it's that oven. Oh, I need to redo them. What? Redo all of them? Wait, where? How? At home. What other choice do I have? She's going to be here at nine. You can't do this all by yourself. There's not enough time. What if I come with you? Who's going to run the shop when it opens? I don't know, but I'm the only one who knows how to help you with these. Actually, you're not. Okay. <sighs> Hi, uh, Nate? <sighs> it's me. Um... I know it's early, and, and I hate to ask, but uh, I really need your help. Okay, so we need to make six dozen cupcakes for the cafe and another four for the super important investor who's all probably already on her way, and I don't even think there's enough time in this timer. Okay, stop. Deep breath. We got this. We got plenty of space. Maddie? Yeah, I'm just screaming inside. Just a little bit. Hmm. Better? Mm-hmm. We got this. We can do this. Space is a total lifesaver. Thank you. And your French toast flakes are pretty perfect. Maybe I should reconsider my profession. <laughs> I still can't believe you're a cardiologist. I mean, that's insane. Would it be any more insane if I told you that my heart really lies in research? Did you just make a really bad medical pun? 
Maybe. <laughs> but I love it. <laughs> Did you know there's this small town in Italy where nobody has heart attacks? No one. It's crazy how much you can learn from that. And it's even crazier to think that if this grant goes through, there's going to be a whole new research program for people like me to geek out on. What? And just think, at 18, you were gunning for advertising. I'm pretty sure that thing dings when it's time. Oh, yeah, I just, I can't risk burning any more cupcakes today. You want me to do the cinnamon crumble? Wow, you remember all this like it was yesterday. I was your stand-in sous chef for how many years? Still, it was a long time ago. Some things you never forget. I'm sorry, Maddie. For everything. You know what? It's fine. We're fine. Are we? Well, no, not if you keep distracting me like this. I gotta get those out of the oven. You were right. They're pretty perfect. So we're really fine? Well, fine-ish. Does this mean that we can officially be friends now? Oh, come on. It's a small town. You're gonna have to see me around anyway. Okay, I guess we can give it a go. Really? Under <laughs> one condition. Less talking, more frosting. We gotta get back in an hour. Where's my spatula? Over there, go grab it. <laughs> oh, Nate, I'll admit, I was a little nervous when she called you. I'm just nervous you're gonna take my job. Impossible. But I do think it went pretty well. Oh, this is not good. Please don't say that. No, what's wrong? Well, I didn't think about the time. What do you mean? It's too quiet in here. No one gets a cupcake at 9 o'clock on a Monday morning. Why did I say yes to 9? She's a smart woman. I'm sure she knows that. Besides, it's not like there's a lot of seating in here. You only get one shot at this. I think you're right. We need warm bodies in here, or it might look kind of sad. Okay, Nate, um, can you just stay here and drink coffee? <laughs> it's one of the beauties of only having one lecture a week. I got plenty of time to loiter. I'm going to call Sarah, see if she can come hmm. down. We're only two people. I don't think that's going to do much. Do you have a better idea? Who wants a free cupcake? Great. Get in here. Get the question going. Let's go. All right, everyone have a seat. Cupcakes on me. Christine, welcome. Thank you. Okay, be honest. Is it too early for a fresh maple buttermilk cupcake? Ooh, not if it comes with a very strong side of coffee. Well, I'm on it. I'm going to take a look around. Excuse me. It's good to see you, Maddie. Good to see you, too. So, you're really trying this whole friends thing out? I just... I want what's best for her. I hate to say I kind of believe you. <laughs> How long are you in town for? Sorry, what? This is a temporary workshop, right? Yeah, I guess it is. Christine, please, right this way. Let me show you. The ovens and the coffee maker have been really kind to us through the years, but her days are definitely numbered. Ah, so, new equipment. Yes, that's our first priority. Well, we really appreciate it. I don't get it. Well, it's good to see that it's so busy, even in the morning. Actually, lunch and after school is our busiest time, but today's uh, been a good day. Hmm. Anything else I should know? Well, the website is up as of late last night, and I have to say it looks pretty amazing. Great. Well, send me a link, and I'll, I'll check it out. OK. Uh, it's all updated in the proposal, along with the numbers. My best friend is an interior designer, so we would be in good hands. And her fiance is a contractor. Hmm. So easy for an expansion here, but in terms of franchising, 
I'm sorry. Can I... Can I be completely honest with you? You know I appreciate that. If the right place comes along, something exciting like, like this, of course I'd be open to a franchise. But for now, I just really want to improve the original. Keep the personal touch. So I just can't promise you anything beyond that. Not until I'm 100%. Well, it's probably not what I would have said, but I am a lot bigger and better. She seemed to really admire your integrity. Well, I, I guess we'll see by this weekend. Hey, we should celebrate tonight. Tonight? Yeah. Don't you think it's a little premature? Well, you put it all out there, you worked hard, I think that's something to celebrate, don't you? Uh, Unless you've got other plans. Hey, hey. Uh, no. Okay. Great. I'll send a car for you at five. Sounds perfect. You didn't have to bring me all the way to Chicago. I would have been fine with pizza or anything, really. It's a celebration, isn't it? How do you feel about oysters? Excuse me. Could we start with a dozen baking oysters, the tuna tartare, and the rest we are still deciding. Thank you. Wow. Fancy. <laughs> well, if I had more time, I would have made reservations at La Colonia. No, 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 no. This is perfect. I'm still underdressed, so... You are perfect. 2A. Very good day, and a very promising start. To the venture. To everything, especially to us. Am I losing my mind? I, 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 I want to feel something. I do. I just, I also feel like we're really different. And you know, and the, the timing is all wrong. I just, I need to focus on the cafe. I don't think the cafe has anything to do with this. Oh, no, this has nothing to do with Nate. But we're just friends. Besides, that's another impossible situation. So, you don't want to be with him? Maybe I need to stick to the original plan. Focus all my energy into work. That'll work out better. I wish it were that easy. What? Deciding when and where you want to fall in love? I'm not falling for Nate again. I know. Uh, that's because you never fell out of love with him in the first place. <laughs> I just didn't realize it until now. is gonna be the perfect wedding. I really like this venue. Wow, this is even better than I remember. Yeah, the pictures you sent were great, but in person it's stunning. That's nice. Still no word from Christine? Mm -mm. Well, don't worry, it's still early. So, what do you think? This place? Yeah, it could work. Work? Are you serious? This is our wedding day. It needs to do more than just work. Actually, I... I should get back to the bakery. <sighs> you call me. Luke. I love you. I do. You say that nothing's going on, but something it's... is, so you need to figure it out. Because I don't want to feel this way anymore. No, nothing. Yet. She said she'd call by the weekend. And it's almost five o'clock. Well, it is Friday. Maybe she's busy. Or she's about to leave for the weekend. I think I'll call her. 
Don't you think that's a little... Okay, it's not pushy, it's just, uh, assertive. Hi, this is, uh, Maddie Strong for Christine Benoit. Hey, I was just gonna call you. Hi, I'm so sorry to bother you. I just, I, I didn't want to miss you before the weekend. Oh, no, no, I've already come home for the weekend. It's fine. You're anxious, I get it. So I will make this as quick and painless as possible. Take a look at your website, and, well, I love it. It's artistic and easy to use, which is a bonus for me. And as much as my brain naturally wants to franchise, I think you're right. We should elevate what you already have, expand next door, and uh, we'll see where we want to go from there. Really? Thank you so much. You're welcome. Bye. Well, we got it. <gasps> we got the deal! Oh, this is so exciting! Oh, I know! And she said she loved the website, too. Okay, we have to celebrate. Uh, what do you think? Champagne at the Horizon or pizza at Lou's? Or you want to thank somebody for their help? What? What are you talking about? <sighs> he was the first person you called after all these years, and he was right there for you. I love you, Maddie, but you don't need to know where everything is going before you get there. He's not going to be here forever. As doctors, we're lucky. We have a family, a community. Uh, we feel linked by what we do. But not everyone has that. Not everyone has that special someone. Or maybe they did, and they lost them. Either way, while they're under our care, our patients need to feel like they're a part of our community. And if you ask me, Indian Lake, is a pretty amazing community to be a part of. Thank you. You're getting pretty good at this lecturing thing. You got it, didn't you? You got the deal? Yes. <laughs> oh. Hey, you uh, still up for that hike? Yes. Yeah. 100%. What's in the bag? You'll see. Okay. <laughs> Don't worry about it. years later it's still perfect <laughs> that's why this is it is what the inspiration for the cafe I remember coming out here for a hike not too long after we broke up so the lake was a little hard for me still then I got here and it surprised me this view this spot it's beautiful and that's when it hit me I could still have my dream right here in Indian Lake. So you decided to go for it? Yeah. I started saving up the next day, baking out of my kitchen, selling anywhere I could. I didn't think you could get any more amazing, but you have. I don't know about that. I do. You got me a cupcake? Not just any. Chocolate velvet? This is the best thank you <laughs> ever. <laughs> Sorry. I just... These last few weeks, I didn't expect to feel all this. But it's all still right there. I know. You do? Really? 
Well, what if this is just nostalgia that we're feeling? Then we'll find out. I know it's a lot to process. I just want to spend more time together. <laughs> I can still picture growing old with you. <laughs> That's never changed after all these years. It just took me coming back here to finally realize it. You only have two more weeks of work. Maybe I can stay on. <sighs> don't say that, Nay, not if you don't mean it. There's any cardiologists here. They've already mentioned it. I just have to find the right moment to bring it up. What do you say? Can we at least try? And see? No, I think that's a great direction to go. Aye. Thanks, Stephen. You signed the deal, didn't you? Construction starts next week. Can you believe it? That is amazing. Maddie, congratulations. I think we should really celebrate now. The Colonial? I'm sorry, Alex. I just, I, I just wanted to come talk to you in person. You just want pizza? Look, you're amazing. And you deserve someone who wants what you want, who loves what you love. I just don't think that that's me. It's okay. I get it. I'm sorry. Well, some things just work out better than others, right? Yeah, I guess they do. <laughs> will you still be able to come to the reopening, whatever that is? I will try. How's that? That's good. Bye. Hi, how are you? Good. Good morning, welcome. Pass that down over there. I can't believe the walls are coming down. It's all happening. It certainly is. I am so happy for you. Well, the big reopening is going to be a big coming out for you. It's going to look amazing. I meant about that. Oh. You think I'm crazy about giving him another chance? I mean, I, I don't know how it's going to go, but... Hey, are you happy? I am. And trust in that. Well, I should say the same to you. I think it's time to break the ground. Is that the right say? I don't know. Okay. Oh, it's amazing. You don't even need coffee here. Cold air just wakes you right up. Forgot how much I miss that. Oh, I need coffee. Lots of coffee. <laughs> you look happy today. Trying to say I don't look happy other days. You know what I mean. Must be all that good pizza I've been eating. <laughs> yeah, somehow I don't think that's what it is. You know what? You're right. It's not. Dr. Caldwell. Nate. Sorry, I was, uh, I was hoping I could talk to you about something. It's important. Well, great timing. I'm sorry? Well, I want to talk to you about something as well. The grant went through for Dr. Langston's research program. He's asking for you in Boston right away. <laughs> so he just called this morning. He said he wanted to run it by me first, just to make sure I was okay with it. With my leaving early? Just cutting your course a week short so that you can take advantage of this great opportunity. Now, Phil will give you all the details this afternoon. Nate, you deserve this. I just never thought that this would happen so soon. Well, it has. And as long as you're willing to start pretty immediately? How immediately? Training starts Monday. Monday? Are you okay? I'm sorry. This just is not how I thought today was going to go. Wait, you said you wanted to talk to me about something as well, didn't you? I did. So what is it? What do you think? You look beautiful. About the cupcake. Uh, it, it might be a tad sweet. Thank you for always being honest with me about everything.
Hi. Hi. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm serious. This is the first hot dog I've had since med school. We really ate them every night? Maybe every other night. I mean, I was so busy. I just thought, what can I grab in 10 seconds or less? <laughs> this. You've always been a hard worker. Sometimes too hard. Maddie Strong, what on earth are you doing here? And with Nate Barzoni? You didn't know we were coming. Of course I did. I talked to her every day. <laughs> Where's Luke? Hey. Sorry, I just got off work. Can we talk? Excuse me. Okay. So, what do you want to do? You want to do chocolate bananas or you want to keep it savory? Yeah. Follow me. Okay. <sighs> Look, I know you're frustrated with me, and I get it, but my parents have been together for over 36 years. But what does that have to do with us? I've always wanted what they had. But they had a really long engagement. So maybe subconsciously, I wanted the same thing. I don't know. But it doesn't matter now. Why? Because I've already found what they have in you. So if we get married tomorrow or next summer, it doesn't matter. We'll figure it out. Call me crazy, but I've never actually had a persimmon cupcake before. But I'd be willing to try, as long as you don't run away from me this time. I haven't been running away. Okay, maybe a little. But at least I remembered you. Go Wildcats! Wait, did we go to high school together? Still not ringing a bell. Truffles were good, but it's hard when your cupcakes are so much better. <laughs> You're just saying that. Can I say I'm a fan? <laughs> <laughs> Is this for us? Sorry, I couldn't resist. I just didn't realize we were going to eat so much en route. Here, sit. Thank you. I guess I just want to say thank you to you too. These last few weeks have been everything to me. And I'm gonna do everything I can to keep that going. Um, but? Something came up this morning. I thought you went to talk to Dr. Caldwell. I did. And I know this may not sound great, but you remember that research program I was telling you about? The, the huge grant that they were applying for just went through. Okay. And Dr. Langston wants me to be a part of his team. But it means I would have to leave Monday. Leave? To, to go where? Boston. Are you serious? So you, you go in to talk about staying here and you come out leaving on, on Monday? I didn't say yes. But you're going to, aren't you? I don't know. I feel so stupid. I should have known this would happen. What are you talking about? The minute I let you in again, you find a reason to leave. That is not true. Oh, yeah? Then why are we in the same spot we were 10 years ago? I need to go. I wasn't looking for this, Maddie. I wasn't looking to leave. You never are. I don't know what to do. This is an opportunity of a lifetime. And I'm not? I love you, Maddie. And I love you, too. That's why... I want you to do what you were meant to do. And I'll do the same. Here. Well, 
Well, I've loved you more than I've ever known. But all I ask of you is that we could grow old. There's something in the way you say I love you. There's something in the way we never say goodbye. All right, I'm just gonna come out and say it. The air's not gonna be half as clear where you're going. You know what? You're probably right. You sure you have to go? It appears so. Well, it's been a pleasure, Dr. Berzoni. Even if you're bailing on us early. You need to start calling me Nate. Okay, Nate. Well, you know where to find us if you ever want to come back. One more thing. I know you're shy, but you should just ask her out already. Who, oh, Chloe? You don't want to miss something great. Dr. Barzoni, uh, someone left us here for you. Oh, when? This morning. You did such a good job. This looks amazing. So good. It turned out great. Oh, it did. It really did. Wow. And I still can't believe you warmed up to a winter wedding. I'll admit it's not exactly what I pictured, but it does feel pretty perfect, even with snow. Hey, do you think you could spare six hazelnut caps to go? Well, our reopening is until tomorrow, so I think you can have as many as you like. I think we'll stick to six. Hey, for the record, they're not all for me. Oh, no. What can I say? Wedding planning is stressful. They really help. <laughs> Chloe, mm. can you put six hazelnut cappuccinos to go, please? Yes. Thank you. I've always prided myself on overtime, but if you keep up these hours, you might just lap me. It's just an old habit, I guess. So you're settling in nicely? I'm adjusting. But you like it here. That's a very different thing. I'm sure I will, eventually. Well, with all the work we have on our plate, I'm sure you won't even notice one way or the other. Yeah, that's the problem. Are you okay? Not sure that I am. Great. It's almost time yes. to officially reopen. <laughs> well, let's get this party started. <laughs> oh, well, I can't believe you turned me into a cake person. <laughs> this looks great. Well, it's all because of you. Money is not what made this place great. You and I both know that. Congratulations. Thank you. Excuse me. <sighs> yeah, of course. Yeah, great. The channel? They're delicious. Um... Hey, excuse me, I gotta go see. You bet. I am very pleased. You're right. I didn't remember you from high school. Oh, okay. But I have not been able to stop thinking about you since the day that I walked in here. Just didn't know how to say that. Until now. So, I was wondering if maybe you'd want to start over again? From like now. Hi, I'm Chloe. I'm Charlotte.
you look beautiful. The place looks amazing. I can't do this again. Me neither. That's why I'm here. I told you I won't do long distance. I know. That's why I'm here. For good. What are you talking about? I know I said that it was a dream job. I was wrong. It doesn't mean anything if the life that I want is here with you. But you just started. They have plenty of amazing replacements. And my lectures went over really well here, so... So... They offered you a job? And I accepted. See? I told you you wouldn't get rid of me that easily. This... This is everything that I want. And if you'll have me, I promise I'll spend the rest of my life making sure you feel that. It was always you, Manny. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> I think you may have misplaced this. <laughs> Just think, I can be your tech support. <laughs> I do need that. Your sous chef? Only in pinch. <laughs> what do you say? <laughs>